Len Bechtold, you built the engine for the airplane that we're standing in front of, which is called the Dreamer, yes, I understand. What's unique about what it is that we're looking at here? The really cool thing about this airplane from my perspective, being the engine builder, is it's really the first ducted fan airplane that I know of, twin ducted fan that's flying, especially with a converted automobile engine. This is a LS6 Corvette engine that we built in about 2010. It is a modified for airplane use. That was my business at Team 38. It was a company we had building these engines. What they've done is they've mounted the engine in the, in the fuselage, radiators in the fuselage as well, with a gearbox that bolts to the engine and two shafts go out horizontally and they gear up to the prop shafts. Uh -huh. So they're about 1.4 to 1 increase in fan speed with a 5,000 RPM motor. Bring the props to about 6,000 RPM, a little more than that. What were some of the design challenges you ran into creating a transmission to get that speed for the fan up to 6,000 RPM with the engine? It was a very important and substantial part of the project. I was not involved in the gearbox design, actually. Ben Kolotilin was responsible for getting the uh, design work done on that over in Russia. It was a long process, and they persevered and got this job done. It's an amazing airplane. Ben, you're the primary designer of the PJ2 Dreamer airplane from Russia, and it's caught a lot of eyes, I understand, here at Sun and Fun this week. Tell us a little bit about this airplane and, and where the idea came from to make it. Well, I was thinking about this idea for about 20 years now, since since 1980s mm -hmm. or 90s. And the whole idea was to build an airplane which is, looks like a jet fighter and flies like a jet fighter, but it's cost much less and it's designed for generation pilots. Anybody who fly 172 or similar can fly this airplane. Obviously it has some military design elements and I understand that it was kind of patterned after about 27 airplanes somebody said or some such thing. So what was your initial thinking about making an airplane that looks like this? Well, we have lots of military pilots mm -hmm. in the world who are already not flying military jobs and they are retired and the general aviation pilots, but they still would like to have uh, that kind of airplane. And, mm -hmm. and when I was coming here in San Fan for 20 years, I uh, saw so interest on uh, the Yak-52s and Chinese CJ-6s, mm -hmm. people buy those. l 39 Czech Republic aircraft trainers, they are very expensive. These jet engines are eating lots of fuel. So people like to have jet car in the aircraft, mm -hmm. but can't afford it. That's what the whole idea was, to build something like that. Mm -hmm. Looking like military jet fighter airplane, but with very inexpensive engine, which is, can be bought for $10,000 mm -hmm. and can be overhauled for $3,000. And uh, airplanes, it's been simple, it's built from uh, fiberglass. Are you intending for it to be a production airplane? Will it be a kit airplane? How are you intending to get this into people's hands? Well, this is actually a kit airplane already. First, we built master model from the wood, completely like sculpture of airplane. We took uh, molds of it and uh, manufactured all the surfaces and uh, put them together like you put a model airplane glue together. So that's basically it's already all set up. So all we need to do right now is just set the production going and we're hopefully going to have those airplanes available by the end of this year. The other thing that I noticed is that you're talking about a military style airplane and yet it has fixed gear. Do you think there's a retractable version in the future? Well, actually it was designed to be retractable. We just didn't have enough time to, to finish it up to bring it over here. It's the first time that we show it on the West here in the United States. But it is flying in Russia. It's flying in Russia. It's got about 45 hours flying time already on it and it's very easy to fly, very gentle aircraft. And yet it's a fast airplane. Talk about some of the performance specifications. The airplane is not as, it flies like a jet. I mean, it's, it's no P-factors or torque from the propeller, and it looks like jet aircraft, of course. It's a utilized ducted fan system, so it's no propellers around it. Mm -hmm. It flies pretty much like general aviation high-performance aircraft. Mm -hmm. We're looking for about 200 miles an hour mm -hmm. top speed, cruise speed. Our approach speed is about 80 miles an hour, like on Cessna's 182, and it stalls in clean configuration about 17 miles an hour and it stalls with this flaps down 30 degrees at uh, 59 miles an hour. Well that's great. Well Ben, good luck. I hope you get a chance to fly it this week here at Sun and Fun and as I said it's, it's turning heads so caught our attention and I'm sure it'll catch the attention of a lot of other folks as they pass by. Thank you very much. We'll do that. Aero TV is brought to you by Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. 
Cub Crafters is unique in that we can design, prototype, and certify, and put into production an aircraft. There aren't very many companies in the world that can make that claim.